Welcome back guys and gals, David from Unqualified Critics with the retro wrap up for this week. We've got some interesting news hit this week. You can now add light guns to your At Games Legends Ultimate. For those of you looking for shooter games, it's finally here. There's an upcoming Ferrari class of arcade cabinet from Arcade 1UP. What does that mean? The TurboGrafx Mini is finally available for pre-order again, so it looks like it's not canceled after all, and a lot more. Let's jump in. So the Legends Ultimate has been restocking at both Sam's Club and Walmart, but as you can probably expect, it's a lot harder to get at Sam's Club selling out very quickly. When I've seen this pop up, they're only getting a few dozen in stock at a time at samsclub.com, but good news, Walmart has it right now as of this recording. There's a link below if you're interested in picking that up, and you may be interested because if you're wanting to play arcade shooting games, something that's eluded arcade enthusiasts for so long because it just generally doesn't work well with LCD monitors, well, that is now available with the Legends Ultimate with the feature update, but I'll come back to that. The TurboGrafx-16 is an early console that's near and dear to my heart. I'm super excited for it. And I've talked before about how that was one of my early consoles I had at home, but I missed out on a lot of the classic games. I really only had five or six of the games myself as a kid. So when they announced the Mini, I was ecstatic and pre-ordered right away. But as many of you know, that pre-order has been delayed. The Turbo Mini was supposed to be out actually, I think the 20th of March. It has been delayed indefinitely. And I was very concerned, is this actually getting canceled? There were no concrete plans for when the Mini would be released, but now it is back available for pre-order. The fact that it was pulled from pre-order on Amazon is what freaked me out, but we're back in the game, guys. So if you're interested in pre-ordering that, let Konami know you're interested in this console. Throw down on your pre-order. You don't get charged until it ships. And as of now, the ship date is December 31st, 2020, but I would almost guarantee that is only a placeholder and that we'll get it sooner. It is it's very common for retailers to put stuff at end of year. In the year, I don't really expect it to take that long to launch. Hoping for a monk more concrete announcement soon as Chinese manufacturing capacity regains its footing. Now, as mentioned, the Arcade 1UP Ferrari level of cabinet is coming and it is currently in development. The specifics of what that means is anyone's guess, but we do have one thing to go off of, and that is that this will be the most authentic cabinet they've done to date. I think this is a great idea. There's a small portion of folks who are willing to drop closer to $1,000 on these cabinets if it means getting everything right, namely the cabinet design and the controls and we feel like it's built solidly enough that this will last for a very long time. Now many of you might say well just get a real cabinet. The, the advantage of arcade went up over a real arcade is that it costs less but I actually disagree for some people it's not about the cost it's about the practicality of having an arcade or a bunch of arcades in your house and that comes down to weight and that comes down to size. It also comes down to having modern LCD monitors that can be replaced when they go bad. CRTs are a eventually going to die out and be impossible to replace. They're also adding to that weight factor. I don't care how awesome a real arcade is, you could not convince me to carry a 300 pound cabinet into my basement because my, the next thing I know my foot slips and I'm dead under an arcade. I'm just not going to go there. The lighter weight cabinets, even if it is built more solidly, we're probably not talking more than 100 pounds. I think a very high quality $500 to $1,000 super high level cabinet would be a great idea. It doesn't mean you'd have to buy that for every title arcade one up releases but what if you have you know a lot of us do have this one key title that we love for some people it's house of the dead 2 if you're a more modern gamer for a lot of people it's burger time which we reviewed earlier in the week and arcade one up did do a good job on that but it is not as high quality as it could be if sky was the limit marvel versus capcom is a cabinet that a lot of people live and die for and i could go on and on it depends on you it depends on your age what there was available in the arcade where you grew up but if you could draw up 500,000 bucks and get that whatever that cabinet is that you love and get that into your house to own and keep forever would you do it let me know in the comments below because I'm going to bet you anything arcade one up is doing market research right now about what really is the limit for what they can charge and then that's going to dictate what level of quality we get and speaking of arcade one up it sounds like they're going full steam ahead
good with production and product roadmap in spite of the beer bug. They seem to view this as an opportunity with all of us staying home and needing entertainment more than ever, which I can relate to. I'm sure a lot of you are bored sitting at home. It's been a couple weeks from now. I started self-quarantining a little early and I'm able to work from home for the most part. And I have a lot of arcades in my house, but it's still starting to get boring nonetheless. But with Chinese manufacturing ramping back up by all reports, I have no reason to doubt them that they'll be back in the game soon with new releases. I would expect announcements from Arcade One Up in the next one to two months because they've got product they had to announce at E3. E3 is canceled. We're going to have to hear from them soon on what these new products are. And speaking of new products, if we can look a little further out to 2021, we can expect more demanding games, aka newer, higher end arcade games. This was the biggest news Arcade One Up has broken in a while, and they shared it on the most recent Retro Buzz. All you guys wanting to see Killer Instinct or House of the Dead or Daytona USA, the time is soon, my brothers, soon. I think we have to wait about another year, year and a half, but this is something Arcade One Up wants to do. The good thing for all of us, there is a finite supply of arcade titles that can ever be re-released. And because of that, if you have a certain title you want, I think the odds are in the long run, you're probably going to get it because these companies want to make money. And since they're not making new games, they have to just continually mine this very rich well of past games that we all want to play. If you don't want to wait, and specifically if you're looking for shooting arcade games, which we know Arcade One Up is working on, we don't know when they're coming. I think we're going to get something this fall, but that's just a hunch. We'll see. But the time is now if you have an Out Games Legends Ultimate or are planning to pick one up. They continue to bring the noise with new features and flexibility added constantly via firmware update. And this week saw the release of 4.11 release, and that's a big one. You can now add light guns via a software called Aim Track to your Legends Ultimate for shooting games. You can do this today if you have it in your house. Now, it does take some work. P Dubs did a good video tutorial on how to do it. I'll put a link below. If you want to add light guns to your Legends Ultimate and you're willing to spend a few bucks on the parts, watch his video, get the pieces, and get going, and you can finally play those shooting games that we all love. Would you buy a home arcade with a refrigerator built in? Arcade 1UP thinks you would, and they're working on this category of functional furniture with built-in functional pieces like refrigerators. I think that's interesting. We're all looking for more efficient ways to organize our game room so we can just fit the maximum number of arcades possible, let's be honest. And being able to combine an arcade with a piece of furniture you might have had to have anyway is a step in the right direction. Now here's something I've been keeping an eye on for a while. The cocktail cabinets, they call them head-to-head, -head, which I don't really understand that. I guess it makes logical sense, but we all know these as cocktail cabinets where you sit down and you play, and if you wanted to set a drink or a cocktail on the cab, you could. It's no secret I've got the Black Edition Capcom cabinet. I really like it, and I have a space for a second cocktail cab. I haven't pulled the trigger on the Pac-Man cocktail just yet. There are only three games on it that I'd want to play, Dig Dug, Galaga, and Pac-Man, and it's a four-way joystick, and Galaga is a two-way game, so I've just held off on that for now. I may still get it in the future, but I've been wondering, are they going to do more cocktail cabinets? I didn't see any sales information or talk of whether or not the cocktail cabs were a success, but according to John D at Arcade 1UP, they have been a success. They've been a huge success. Strategically, it's helping Arcade 1UP get into more retailers than ever before, stores that wouldn't otherwise pick up their products because they're selling more of the furniture type stuff. So in a way, the cocktail cabinet is the original functional furniture piece for arcade games. So they say that they are developing new cocktail cabs. This time around, they plan to have adjustable height. Now, funny enough, the original cocktails did have adjustable height, but the travel was only one inch. So the real problem was not that it was adjustable or not. The real problem is the Arcade One Up cocktail was not tall enough. It's 25 inches tall, and they really need to be 32 inches, which was the height of the original cabs we all played in the arcade. So I hope they're listening to that. I hope they put some kind of feet or something to elevate the cabinet. We need seven inches. We're good because the cabinet itself as currently constructed is 25. 25 plus seven is 32. Suddenly you have a legit cocktail cap in your house. As I mentioned, I have one and it really is a thing of beauty. It looks super cool. So that's coming. We don't know when. There was talk of a new form factor being announced this year. So is that the cocktail cab with the adjustable height? Is it the thing with the refrigerator built in or is it something completely crazy that we haven't talked about? I don't know, but I think we're going to get some big announcements pretty soon. That's all for this week. Stay tuned next week for more news and announcements as we look forward to upcoming news that the Burger Time Control fix. We know it's coming. We don't know when and we don't know exactly what it will do or how it will work, but I'm told we're going to know more by the end of next week. I hope that's true. As soon as I know, you guys will know. 
I'm going to talk to you again real soon.